Hey everybody, welcome to Cut, Transform, Glow, and let's continue the quantum computer diorama build, shall we? So this is where we left in the last episode, and as you guys remember, I was missing one of the fans of the hot side of the diorama. And so I dug around in my shop and I found this uh, fan right here from an older uh, dead laptop. And even though this is kind of different from the first one, I feel like it will work perfectly on the diorama. As you guys know, I always like to break the symmetry in my projects. But then I had the idea of including sort of a rail to protect each fan. And so I 3D modeled and printed some cool looking pieces to go around the initial structure for each fan, as you guys can see right there. Then I used my Dremel tool with a sphere diamond coated bit uh, to scuff the surface of set 3d printed piece and yeah then i could glue uh, the pvc three millimeter uh, tube on the top of it and i did that to ensure that the seal glue can keep both pieces together then i reached my collection of cast scribblies and i decided to use this one right here on the top of each fan to make them look alike Okay, so now that I took care of the fans, I can uh, move on and expand the details uh, throughout the base. So I grabbed my compass and I threw some lines on the base just to guide myself and I went on Fusion 360 and I 3D modeled some extra uh, pieces. My idea was to keep uh, going with a circular theme that is going all around the base and the elements of this build. The pieces were glued with CA and of course I made them bigger than the base so I trim down the excess but as you can see there are some holes going on each piece and I did that on purpose to include uh, some pieces that I recently found like this one right here this looked like some big rivets and I found those on a broken toy and I guess I have a ton of rivets for my future projects I included one for each hole as you can see right there Okay, so now let's move to the other side of the base. My idea for the white piece is to include some tubes going into it. But clearly drilling into that white piece wasn't a good idea, so eventually it kind of destroyed in my hand and I decided to give up on that completely. And so I made this new version right here using this black gribbly, some laser cut acrylic and some other pieces and I feel like this is a, a much better solution for that piece. It was of course glued where the white piece was and then I used more of the purple uh, tubes that I just showed you guys to, to create some loops. As you can see it keeps well the, the shape you make so yeah I decided to use it uh, to guide the tubes that I'll connect to the new uh, black structure right there. I know this sounds super confusing but it will make sense in a bit. So I just had to drill some 2mm holes into the base and glue the loops right there. As you can see I made some lines to guide myself the process and then I could fit the black 4mm uh, electric wire through it. There's nothing too fancy about those wires, uh, these are just some electric wires that I saved uh, all of these years. I like to keep everything when I take some dead electronics apart. As you can see right there, I've added a bunch of wires to the black gribbly and then on the front of it all I made a big hole where I'll create sort of a smaller structure with some gribblies and some interesting pieces. You guys will see the result in a minute. I like to keep things fun and so as you can see I made a different path uh, for a couple of the black tubes. Then I grabbed uh, some extra resin cast griblings and I glued them to the back of the black piece. Of course I want to add a ton of details to this project and so yeah I'm adding some details going to the back of the base. But of course I'm too far from the amount of detail that I want for this project. And so I drilled some holes on that spot right there and I glued some griblies to add detail to it and of course I modeled some PVC tubes uh, to, to go right in there. Then I carefully drilled some holes in between each of the uh, white tubes. 
and then I glued some aluminum loops around each of the white uh, PVC tubes. This is a very time consuming thing you do, uh, but I feel like it, it makes a, a real difference on the project. Now, as you guys know, I want to include some human figures on this diorama. And so using some 5mm uh, PVC tube, I kind of modeled uh, some rails, some protection rails. My idea is that that spot right there in the front is kind of the deck where the engineers would approach the computer. And so, yeah, they need some protection. And then, of course, I added some, some extra tubes to the left side as well. Now, of course, as I always do, the design, the layout of each tube on the left side is slightly different from the, from the right side, just to break the symmetry. And then, of course, I added some aluminum loops uh, to keep the tubes in place, and I added a few extra details to the black gribbly on the cold side of the base. But I actually don't want the computer to be sitting loose on the diorama and so I decided to create uh, some support arms around it. Uh, for that I'm using this interesting grip right here which is uh, the joint, the axle of a Wi-Fi antenna. I'm combining it with some different grip, some 3D printed pieces and yeah, the idea right here is to create an arm that will connect the computer to the base, securing it in place. It took me a while to get to the final design of that piece. Uh, of course, uh, I need to make things kind of adjustable and so the Wi-Fi antenna is very useful for that purpose. And of course, I had to make four of those arms, a couple for the front and a couple for the back. I then had to 3D model and print some extra pieces for each arm, uh, having the adjustability factor in my mind throughout the process. And this is the result. I have a couple of joints uh, going on each arm. And yeah, this is very important because the, the model is not perfect. And so I need some adjustability uh, to connect everything together. And as I like to do in all my projects, uh, everything is getting connected by some M4 bolts and nuts. But if I'm being 100% honest right here i'm not entirely happy with the connections i got uh, going on the top but i'll have to do it for now i also 3d modeled and printed a ring right here for the bottom of the computer because as i said in the previous video i want to have some lights going in this project and so i need a perfect connection going right there in the bottom of the base And this is how far I was able to get in the past couple of weeks. Of course, as always, I want to thank my patrons for the amazing support. If you want to help me keep going, please check the links on the description box. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching.